Hi everyone, Scott here. This is going to be a fairly short video. Basically, I'm just going to show you how I'm connecting my laptop here through a switch and to a router, basically to get internet access. So we've got our server rack back here in the classroom. Yay, server rack. Lots of cables. Anyway, so basically if we trace our cable from my laptop, come all the way around. This is a little bit longer than I really needed it to be, but in any case, you can see it going in right here, port 17 on this switch. And the switch is actually taking all of the data coming into it and sending it back out through port 1, this cable, which runs around, wraps up, sorry, up through here and around and comes into our CenturyLink router. So all of these ports are getting internet data from this one port basically as far as internet activity goes. Up in the top here we also do have a patch panel and so that if you look from the back side you can see all those patch cables are being punched down into the back end there. Let me see if I can get a light in here. A little bit better picture. So you can see that punch down cabling being done in the back of that patch panel. And so all of those wires are coming out. And usually you'll see these being run through a wall instead of over the ceiling like this. But this is actually a pretty effective way for this classroom at least, to get internet connectivity out to all of the workstations. So we'll have a bunch of computers set up around the classroom. Sorry. And so at any point you can trace these cables from any computer. Trace the cable back, it'll have a little keystone jack. On the back end it'll be um, a punch down basically, so it's got been punched into the back of the keystone jack. You can trace the wires up the ceiling and back over to our server rack. And so from that patch panel, we have them punched down in the back, and then the front end is a port for an RJ45 module. And then all of that comes down to our switch individually. And then in and out through port one, basically, to our router and then out through, in this case, CenturyLink, basically a phone line, to get internet access via CenturyLink's ISP. And so if we take a look, right here, we're on the network, and if we wanted to test it, we can go pull up a web page, like, let's say, Pandora, and so that's how that internet connectivity works by running this Ethernet cable, and now I've just lost it because it wasn't secure enough. There we go. Through our switch, which is connected over there via port 1 to our router and up to the internet. 